one joking comment on social media about not wearing pants and now everybody's like Rocky doesn't wear pants but he loves pie. Oh god. History will remember me for not wearing pants and liking pie. Hola, you amazing artists. So recently we got interviewed on Business Radio X by the awesome Keith Hoffert. And Keith has the perfect voice for radio. Hey, good morning everybody. Keith Hoffert here, broadcasting live from our sunny studios here in Pensacola, Florida. I have quite the collection of people around this table. But uh, anyway, we're gonna get started. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about. I didn't say anything about his face. He's got a nice face though. For radio. <laughs> <laughs> Keith will probably not watch this. If you do, I'm sorry, Keith. I love you. I'm releasing calendars of my art for the very first time ever, which, by the way, I didn't realize was gonna be so much work, but I'm really excited to get these calendars out there, and when Keith found out that I had calendars, he said, dude, come on to radio and let's talk about it. I then peed a little bit, I think, because I honestly still get really nervous doing like interviews. Yeah, I think I've just come to the conclusion that it never, it never gets to the point where it's not nerve wracking. I feel like it's easy to like say the wrong thing and make an ass of yourself. You know what I worry about, what? especially when it's live? I worry that I'm accidentally going to say f or sh <laughs> and they warn you beforehand, don't say curse words. Yeah, like that, that I don't have a beat button <laughs> <laughs> or delay. <laughs> She's a trucker and a sailor. That's... And Irish. The curse words just leak out of my pores. <laughs> no matter what, it's kind of scary. And there are two things that I resort to whenever I get nervous about something. Uncomfortable, awkward silliness, or I freeze. Because they can't even see that you're frozen in terror. It just sounds like you're not there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I went the route of silly awkwardness. So Clee and I are about to get interviewed on Business Radio X and... Uh, our goal is to do everything that you're not supposed to do in a yeah. radio interview. That's not true. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, please work with me now. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, this is pretty sweet beatboxing. I know. So we went on the radio and it was an awesome success. Yay! I personally feel like we nailed it. Maybe. An artist friend of mine contacted me after our interview and said, yeah, I'm going to be interviewed on the radio and I am super nervous. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do or what takes place. Uh, can you help me with that? Now, here's the thing, all you amazing artists. The thing is that I know that at some point you are either going to be interviewed in the newspaper, on the radio, or on TV. Every single last one of you. So in case you pee yourself a little bit, finding out that you have a radio interview, here's a few tips and things that I tell myself whenever I'm going to go live on the air. Number one. Everybody sits on the toilet. So I use this whenever I am going to talk to anybody that I am intimidated by, like a radio personality or a celebrity or just anybody that maybe slightly intimidates me a little bit. So essentially what I do is this person that makes me nervous, I picture them sitting on the toilet that morning, pinching out. No, it totally levels out the playing ground. Why would it make you uncomfortable? Because then I look at them in the face when I see them and I'm like, oh, I pictured you pooing this morning. That makes me weird. Once you think about it, it kind of puts that person on a level playing field with you because, you know, chances are you were out on the toilet this morning pinching one out yourself. I hate my day when I haven't pinched one out in the morning. We're going to TM TMI. TMI. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in there. <laughs> well, it's true. Yep. Yeah. It's only a good day if you've pooed. I do wonder if that time that I met Robert Downey Jr., if it would weird him out if he knew that I was picturing him pooing on the toilet. I'm sure all the people picture him pooing. <laughs> Number two, don't give long answers. When you're being interviewed anywhere across the board, try to keep your answers short and concise. Short. That's something I fail at miserably. Yes, yes. I end up editing a lot of you out. Yeah. At one point during our interview, I was like, <laughs> and then Keith was like, okay, and <laughs> moving on. <laughs> yeah, I actually have footage of Cleve being like, bah, 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 for you to enjoy. A person that yeah. maybe empowers you or reminds you of, uh, 
how old the earth is, yeah, yeah. Um, the timelessness of it, or the wonders of nature, it can mean a lot of different things. But... So when my father and I would travel... And... Which, ironically, you didn't film me talking at all. You picked up the camera and filmed me right at the end where I was like, ah, and then you turned off the camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the footage that Clee captured of me. <laughs> being interviewed <laughs> totally. so, all right so Clee, you've been alone for this journey not only i was too busy listening to what you were saying <laughs> so remember a lot of times your host needs to like go to commercial or they need to take phone calls they have things that they want to get to in your interview so try to keep your answers short you know 30 seconds or less is a good rule of thumb number three don't give complex answers your goal is not to tell the audience everything that you know about whatever the topic is that you're talking about so don't drone on and on and on about complicated descriptions that nobody else is going to get or really care about. If you go on there with the intent to try to impress people and give very, very complex answers, you're going to lose their audience. A lot of people that will be interviewing you will probably not invite you back because, well, frankly, you're boring. Number four. Don't be boring. Being on the radio or on any medium requires energy. That's the reason that droning on with a complex answer might diffuse some of your energy. One of the things that you want to stay away from is putting a premium on the quality of the information of knowledge that you have about the certain subject. Put more focus on your delivery of it. Your ability to be able to communicate in a passionate and enjoyable way. You gotta think about it. Who's gonna to want to listen to you being interviewed if you're gonna put them to sleep? That that means talk about things that you feel passionate about. Talk about things in a way that is fun for you. Talk about things that you are just excited about, that you can't help but be like, yeah, let's talk about this thing. Number five, don't be an alarmist. Don't be a drama queen. Don't be an alarmist. Don't talk about the problem unless you actually have a solution. So if you are in an interview and you are just talking about, yeah, man, like there's all these problems and I don't even know what I'm gonna do about it, blah, 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 blah. Chances are you will never be invited back. If your attitude is that there are no solutions to a problem, people are going to tune out. Not only that, but like your life must suck if you can't find solutions to your problems. Number six, bring the humor with you and just have fun. Unless humor is inappropriate for the subject that you guys are talking about, I suggest that you bring some humor into the conversation. That doesn't mean that you have to be a comedian. You don't have to like purposefully try to be funny. In fact, I recommend that you don't try to be funny because that will quickly backfire on you. Yeah, that usually doesn't work out. Mm -mm. Chances are if you're being interviewed by a radio personality, they're going to bring in some humor and levity into the situation and just play along and have fun with them. Just be yourself in a funny way that you are. If you have dry humor, then awesome. If you are talkative humor, then awesome. Do that. What's my type of humor? Dork humor? Number seven, express passion. Sure, maybe you're on the radio and nobody's going to see you, but I suggest that no matter what, that you keep your movements going. Arm movements and blah, 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 blah. And There's mad gesturing up in there. Those gestures and expressions carry over into what people are listening to, especially if you get passionate about the subject that you're talking about, which I totally suggest that you do, then you are going to move. And I suggest that you allow yourself to move. Number eight, sit close to the microphone. They'll probably give you the talk of microphone etiquette, but essentially what you want to do is stay about this close to the microphone. See how uncomfortably close I am to this microphone? Yeah, that's it. Don't do like this, because it'll do this like Doppler effect thing. So Number nine, connect with the host. You're being interviewed by someone, so make eye contact and essentially allow yourself to just kind of connect with them, you know, build rapport. If you already did the thing where you pictured them pooing in the morning on the toilet, maybe you could open up with that. Say, just this morning, I pictured you pinching one out. <laughs> How do you respond to that? Yeah, be like, sweet, did I look awesome? 
I mean, yeah, that's... <laughs> Number 10, don't depend on them to make the plug. So you're there talking about your art or like me, I was talking about calendars or talking about whatever it is that you're talking about. So there is a reason why you decided to go on the radio because you get to plug your business or your product or whatever it is that you have. I was going to say plug yourself and that just doesn't... Plug yourself. <laughs> a lot of times when you're dealing with somebody who's interviewing you like yes they already know that you're on the radio for this and they're going to lead you into plugging a lot of times they will help you to plug yourself why does that sound so wrong plug yourself like it just sounds wrong there's got to be a better word for that promote promote yes promote they may help you to promote yourself on the radio and if they don't then take it upon yourself to promote your product, yourself, your thing, whatever it is. Number 11, use every interview as a learning experience. So very few people enjoy listening to themselves or watching themselves on a tape, on a tape. <laughs> Flashback to the 80s. <laughs> whatever, dude, they have tapes nowadays. I can't believe I get to hear myself on tape. <laughs> Taped. Being taped. Are you being taped. They still use being taped. Are you going to include this section in the taping of this video? Uh, no matter what it's called, what I am suggesting is that you either listen or watch yourself having been interviewed so that you can see how many times you say um or uh for some reason. I'm At the end of every sentence, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go to the beach, you know? It's not quite like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I say it. I'm gonna go to the beach, you know? I'm gonna work on this artwork, you know? Just watch them and, and, and that way you could practice for your next interview to feel a little bit more comfortable. I have an additional tip, and this one seems like it's common sense, but it happens to a lot of people. Okay. Use your words. This last interview that we had, Keith had asked somebody a question and I was like nodding along and he turned to me and was like, you know, they can't see you, dude. <laughs> and that's it. That's all we've got on making your radio interview successful. I think that with every experience that you have doing something that is slightly outside of your comfort zone, it just gets easier and easier and it gets funner and funner. Go into any interviews that you might have with a sense of joy and fun and make sure that you promote the hell out of yourself. And I hope you guys found this video helpful for the millions of interviews that I'm sure that you guys will be having. And if any of you guys have any fun stories of any interviews that you have been in, leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. I totally freaking adore you. You guys are awesome. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Klee. Good day. Adios.